Our reporter, Randy Ripplinger, has followed this case since the night Gilmore shot a Provo motel clerk. And the big question now is, Randy, will Gilmore be shot November 15th? Probably not. There are so many legal questions unanswered that I don't think anyone would dare pull the trigger. The situation became tangled last night when public defender Mike Esplin and attorney Craig Snyder told Gilmore they were going to appeal his case. Snyder says Gilmore then fired them. The lawyers filed a motion to appeal this morning and asked Judge J. Robert Bullock to stop the execution. A three-man, nine-woman jury had sentenced Gilmore to death after convicting him of killing Provo Motel clerk Benny Bushnell. But today, Judge Bullock balked at signing the stay of execution. The judge was not sure if the two attorneys could try to save the life of the client who fired them. Bullock asked the county attorney to check into it. Wayne Watson of that office is asking the state attorney general what should be done. By the time an opinion comes back, Gilmore could be dead. Public defender Esplin thinks the judge would stop the execution to wait for the opinion. And what about Gilmore? This is exactly what he doesn't want to wait for. First, the judicial system took away his right to live, and now it is denying him the right to die. There's something else waiting for all this to be resolved. Gilmore was supposed to be tried for another murder next Monday. But Judge Bullock has set that aside to see if the defendant will be around for the whole trial.